fourth grade, it's Ms. Rennes, and we're continuing our six traits. And we're going to be talking about adjectives today. And I've been so pleased. I've been getting a lot of books that um, I'm going to be putting here in the library that you guys have been writing. So I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping that this book will help you become a better writer because we are talking about adjectives and how important adjectives are in a story and how much more interesting your story is because you are using those adjectives. So today's book, and I love the title, I think it's quite funny, is Quirky, Jerky, Extra Perky. More about adjectives. It is by Brian P. Cleary and it's illustrated by Brian Gable. So that is our adjective books, book today. Let's see if it can help us with our writing. And of course it tells us right here, if you didn't already know, or if you forgot, an adjective is a word that describes a thing, idea, or living being. Adjectives are words like yellow, sleepy, slumbering, somewhat mellow. They give us a lot of great description, like tall, left-handed, young Egyptian. They paint a picture using words like friendly dog or baby birds, spotted, nearly rotted fruit, peppered eggs, and leopard suit. See how these words tell us more? A wild goat, a mild boar. Particulars are what you give each time you use an adjective. London's often cool and clammy. Humid is the best that describes Miami. Cold's a handy adjective if Greenland is the place you live. Like wrinkled hands and crinkled pliers, adjectives are modifiers telling more about the noun like crazy cat or lazy clown. Kind of quirky, extra perky, quite polite, or slightly jerky. Woolen socks, a knitted shawl. Adjectives, describe them all. Like sly, sarcastic, so fantastic, enthusiastic, and elastic. Adjectives make phrases sing and keep our language interesting. A wilted rose, a chartreuse vase, a cheery kind of florid face, music that's soothing, soup that's steaming, served in a bowl that's so bright that it's gleaming. Adjectives tell us when someone is serious, fearless, or frightened, or even delirious. 
Like, hear the mysterious bat as it screeches. See how exciting this fun part of speech is? They modify nouns in ways that explain if a movie is brilliant, bizarre, or insane. Because we have adjectives, we get to pick words like crumbled and red when describing a brick. We can say that is simple or scary or splendid, describing the skating that Mary or Glenn did. They help us picture lots of things when we can't really see them. Yes, adjectives help make our mind a kind of art museum. They've told us of a donut that was round and plump and sprinkled the winking stars above us as they sparkled and they twinkled. The sour apple candies from the cozy corner store. Adjectives help tell us about all of those things and more. What is an adjective? Do you know? So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you thought of using maybe some of those adjectives in your writing. I think some of those adjectives are pretty amazing. And today you guys are going to be using adjectives. So you have this sheet here, it says fantastic adjectives. Add a descriptive adjective to each highlighted noun to make the sentence more interesting. Use the word box for inspiration or think of your own adjectives. Hopefully, you can think of some from this book. Rewrite each sentence with your new adjectives. Be sure to change a to an an if the adjective begins with a vowel. So you have your little word box here to help you and then you have your, your sentence here. So it's the knight slayed the dragon. So then you're going to change those and um, use adjectives to really describe what they are. So it will completely change up your sentence and make it seem so much more interesting. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you write me a book and I'll see you all next week, bye.